Good afternoon. Today is May 21st, 2011. This is Hurricane Cities with an update on your tropical weather outlook for 2011. As we all know, or should know, we are beginning to look at the weather uh, for the tropics and it appears that we are going into what we call an analog year. And a analog year is when you have most of the storms traveling mostly in the southern uh, region, which is of the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the southern part of the Atlantic. There's a fairly large area of high pressure system that's going to be dominating the strong ridge in the Atlantic, also known as the Bermuda High. And this year it looks like uh, and appears that most of the storms will be impacting land masses where last year most of the storms were out to sea, mostly fish storms. The water temperature in this region is is above average and indeed we're going to have stronger possibility of some tropical activity that's going to be stronger than it was last year as well, making some in hurricanes more intense. So what we're looking at on this particular map here is showing that the impacts, uh, greater impacts, will be over the central Atlantic in the Carolinas and the Gulf of Mexico, the extreme northern part of the Gulf, and southern Florida and over in the southern part of Texas. As you can see in Central America, they also they're looking at some hot hot spots, uh, Yucatan Peninsula and uh, the Central America coastline. So that's what we're expecting for next year. And uh, the number of storms, let's run down the number of storms that we're uh, looking at. Fifteen named storms possible. Nine of those storms becoming hurricanes. And four of those hurricanes becoming major hurricanes and possibly impacting landmass of the U.S. and the uh, Caribbean. And that's category three or greater. The ENSO conditions, this is what we're expecting. And I fully agree that uh, by some of the models we're expecting a neutral ENSO during 2011 hurricane season. Most of the climate models support my thinking as well and there, there's no signs of an El Nino condition that's going to be reforming in the hurricane season this year like it was in previous years there will be El Nino that formed and uh, the popped up and then it caused the conditions to not be as bad as we originally planned. Now the sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic Basin is well above average across the main uh, development regions of the Atlantic and these above average surface temperatures will continue through 2011 season. So I don't foresee that um, changing at, at all. So in other words, the hurricane season this year is going to be um, a little bit less of a number but more of an impact on land mass. Now the analog years, uh, we focus a lot on that analog years that um, hurricane seasons are based on continuing uh, tropical Atlantic basins. The analog years that are close to match are the ones of 1950, 1955, and 1989, and of course 2008 is what we're looking at this year. And 2008 kind of um, matches up with what we're expecting even this year. Now the risk areas, once again, the upper level patterns over last month and the um, feature that uh, shows a strong ridge of high pressure that's over the western Atlantic basin that's going to be building in. So I'm looking at the most uh, active uh, uh, hot spots I would say for tropical development to make landfall will be the coast of North and South Carolina and South Florida, Central Gulf Coast that's including anywhere from um, Morgan City over into the Florida Panhandle and southern part of Texas is another area that I'm expecting that will be a good shot for landfall development. And in the Caribbean, I'm looking at the Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the south coast of Dominican Republic, Haiti, south coast of Cuba, north coast of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, 
and the eastern coast of the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. Also, over in Belize, I'm expecting some possible uh, landfall. We can't rule out Jamaica, because Jamaica is going to be pretty much uh, clobbered several times this year, looks like, the way the storms will be moving. We're going to have a kickoff show, and the kickoff show will be coming up this June 1st, and it will be on HurricaneCities.com. Please join us uh, for complete details. We're going to go over everything you want to know, possibly, about what's going to happen this year in the Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. And also, if you go to our website, you're going to notice lots of changes on our website. We have made uh, a major change, an overhaul. We are going to cover hurricanes from each um, ocean, which is around the world. So we're actually going to cover um, the Pacific, Indian Ocean, Australia, Atlantic, North, North and South Atlantic, and just go to the website, check it out. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email me. My new email address is hurricanecity1 at gmail.com. That's hurricanecity1 at gmail.com. Mail me your uh, concerns and comments to that uh, email address and let me know what you think. Again, this is hurricanecities.com with an update on the tropical weather for 2011. We're going to have a kickoff show at 6 o'clock on the 1st of June on www.hurricanecity.com and also will be on Ustream, which is Hurricane Cities as well. That's uh, Hurricane Cities with an S. So please join us for now. Thanks for joining us, Hurricane Cities.